Hey everyone, I'm Instructor Brooks. I want to thank you for supporting my channel. Make sure you hit subscribe to join our community. Today we're going to discuss everything you need to know about the foot flat phase of gait, and then we'll finish with a test question. So if you're ready to learn something, let's go. For every phase of the gait cycle, you should consider three joints ankle, knee, and hip. That doesn't mean that there's a muscle contraction occurring at every joint, but it's a great way to make sure you don't forget one. One of the biggest things that most students forget is they think about the ankle and the foot when they're thinking about the gait cycle, and as they go through it, they do everything right for the ankle, but they forget either the knee or the hip. So if you always say, I'm gonna look at the ankle, the knee, and the hip, you're always gonna be hitting all the joints that you need to hit at the bare minimum. The second phase of the gait cycle is foot flat. Let's take a closer look and apply our strategy of ankle, knee, and hip. First, looking at the ankle, there is an eccentric contraction of the anterior tibialis to lower the foot to the ground. Moving on up to the knee, we see the quads are still eccentrically contracting as the knee continues to flex as it absorbs the force of the ground moving up through the leg. Finally, at the hip, we see a concentric contraction now of the glute max to start to bring the hip back into extension. Now for the test question. During foot flat, if there is damage to the deep peroneal nerve, which of the following deviations would a PTA most likely see? A, weak glute max gait, B, hip hike, C, uncompensated Trendelenburg gait pattern, or D, foot slap? The answer is D, foot slap. Damage to the deep peroneal nerve will affect the anterior tibialis, thus reducing its ability to eccentrically control the foot to the ground. Instead, the patient will present with a slapping sound immediately following heel strike. I hope you learned something from this video. Don't hesitate to post questions in the comments section below. Follow me on Instagram at Instructor Brooks. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and become part of our community. If you got all that covered, have an awesome day. And remember, knowledge is power.